Mary, back again with more on onboarding, helping you become that rocket launcher, the person who helps every new recruit get off to a really strong start. Now, your job as the recruiter is to guide that new person through that first 30 days. And in order to do that, it's very important that you know what they're going to experience. What's she going to get when she opens that kit? What training materials in there? What emails will she receive from the company? Will someone reach out to her from the company? What is it that um, your company has in their back office? You know, home offices have a way of changing and updating this fairly often, so make sure you review it on a regular basis so you know what that new recruit's going to experience and you can partner with her as she um, goes through that learning. And most importantly, you can guide her on how to attack it all. A checklist is a simple way to do this. Just think about what does she need to do in the first 24 hours? What does she need to do in the first week? What does she need to do in the first 30 days? And keep it simple and then stand beside her as she accomplishes those tasks. It's a great idea to challenge her to fill up those first two weeks with parties or appointments before the kit even arrives. Um, at Team Connections, we believe in the power of the five-minute call, daily call. Imagine that your new person gets on the phone. You've had a great conversation. You can feel like she's prepared to make some phone calls. She gets on the phone. The first three people tell her no. The other two tell her maybe. Six don't return her phone call. She can get pretty discouraged. Now, if she doesn't hear from you for a week, fear, doubt, uh, buyer's remorse, they all can creep in. And even there are going to be people in her life who may be naysayers, and they can catch her attitude and really squelch her enthusiasm, and she may never pick up the phone again. The five-minute call is pretty simple, and it's a great way to just stay in touch and on top of that. The first thing you do, you pick up the phone, say, hey, how'd it go yesterday? Celebrate successes, process any challenges. What's your plan for today? Create today's plan, schedule tomorrow's call, repeat every day. It's important to set that up and let her know how important it is for her to connect with you. Say, I'm just going to talk to you five minutes a day just to make sure things are on track and that if there's anything you need from me, I'm going to be here for you. You know, uh, you don't want them to have time to get discouraged. So uh, that simple, doable plan every day is going to keep her on track in uh, her learning in bite-sized pieces. Again, it's really important that you ex set that up from the beginning as an expectation that you are going to talk to her every day, figure out the best way. If she doesn't like to, you know, some people would rather FaceTime than then be on the phone or somebody might like to Zoom. You kind of figure that out with her, but just quick, quick connections. Uh, you may uncover some things that she needs to learn during this time. You could guide her to where the training is in the back office, potentially do some group trainings either on Zoom or in person. Uh, group trainings are really effective for you. They are effective for your time. They help bond those new people together. and. Um, it keeps your daily contact with her focused on achieving activity. And that's what you've got to do is keep these new people doing the business. You know, keeping your onboarding system really simple is important. Keep it simple. Do the same thing with every new recruit. Give them all equal opportunity for a strong start. And just do it over and over again because a system, uh, it keeps you involved in the connecting and the activity so that you don't have to be worried about um, whether or not what to do next. You're going to just know. It gives everybody that same opportunity for success and it's very easy to duplicate. So get out there, get those new people off to a strong start. You rocket launcher, you.